What's the current forecast for mood? Well, it depends on who you ask. <coughs> I don't want to cough while you're answering. Sorry. So what, what's the current forecast for mood? Well, it depends on who you ask. Be, I mean, for example, if I ask you, you know, how do you feel about the future? Uh, the right answer would be, which future? Do you mean, how do I feel about tomorrow? How do I feel about next year? How do I feel about next decade? Because you may well have a different answer in each case. And I would say the answer to your question, what's the current forecast for the financial markets? Typically, people usually mean the next few weeks to the next few months, rather short-term forecast. And my own feeling at the moment is, and we're speaking now on September 23rd, you know, for the record, uh, 2010 that is, uh, it's, it's rather um, down. I think that we're right on the cusp of a major uh, turn back down to the downtrend that began in 2007. Over the last several months, we've actually had a counter trend bounce that's been pretty impressive. It's, it's recovered something like 60 some odd percent of where from the, the low. Uh, but uh, that recovery period, in my opinion, is just about over. And when it rolls over, which could be today, could be next week, or, but it, it will be soon. Uh, yeah, I think it will take several thousand points off of the Dow Jones Industrial Average before it finally uh, bottoms out. So th this is a pretty good time if you're a speculator to start thinking about uh, taking your profits off the table and going in the other direction. And that implies for events, the kinds of events that involve negative mood come making a comeback. Uh, and I suspect that we'll see some pretty dramatic uh, political fighting, both infighting and outfighting, uh, over the next few months. And by the running up to the elections, in the midterm elections in November, and, and I think that by the time of the uh, presidential elections in 2012, the overall mood will be pretty down. And I would be surprised to see a re-election of President Obama. I, I think that he will be uh, having nothing, this has nothing to do with he or his policies, but just the general mood of the population. The historical picture has been that just prior to a presidential election, if the mood meter, the market indexes, are down, the incumbent and his party are always kicked out. There, there are no exceptions. And I discussed this at some length in my book. Uh, and I think that you look at the uh, actual uh, data, the record, you'll see that that's the case. So if the Democrats want to uh, retain the, uh, the White House, uh, they had better try and start doing things to help <coughs> pump up the financial market indices, at least uh, in the period shortly before the election. In some articles, you've described some very pessimistic visions of the future, for example, even more terrorist attacks. Can you explain why you think this? Well, the reason that I think that is not any different than from what I've said earlier, that if the mood is negative and if people are fearing the future, if you have a belief that tomorrow will be worse than today, then you tend to see collective social events with a terrorist attack would certainly be of that type that um, are uh, coming to the front, negative, one, destructive, let's put it, destructive rather than constructive. And a uh, terrorist attack almost always involves destroying something, uh, tearing something down, not building it up. So that's uh, a key uh, the character of the types of events that you will see would be consistent with an increased likelihood of terrorist attacks. But other kinds of things that you might tend to see in, the, in those periods would be increased suicide rate, uh, a, a focus on uh, increased homelessness, a focus on home cooking rather than going out to restaurants. The, these, these, all these kinds of things in the general uh, domain of social uh, trends and culture uh, are, are characteristic of periods of negative social movement.